Hi, I'm Laurie Thomas with the UK Department of Forestry and Natural Resources, and I'm here with the tree of the week, the black cherry, Prunus serotina. It's also known as wild black cherry, rum cherry, and mountain black cherry. Black cherry, the largest of the native cherries and the main one of commercial value, is also an important tree for wildlife. It typically grows 60 to 80 feet tall and up to 2 to 3 feet in diameter. It grows best in rich, deep, moist soils, but is classified as shade intolerant, so commonly found in successional vegetation or forest openings, old fields, and along fence rows. It can live to be 150 to 200 years old. It is found throughout the eastern United States with several geographic variants, as you can see in the range map. There are numerous varieties in Texas, Mexico, and Guatemala. Black cherry flowers are small and white and are grouped in hanging narrow clusters called racemes. The clusters are typically four to six inches long. The flowers are perfect and are insect pollinated by several species of flies and several species of bees, including the honey bee. The leaves are deciduous, alternately ranged on the stem, and they are simple, which means they are composed of just one blade. The leaf is two to five inches long, and it's oblong to lance-shaped with finely serrated margins. They are dark green and lustrous above, and paler below during the growing season. The autumn color varies from a striking red to a golden yellow. The fruit is a dark purple round droop, almost black when ripened, which is where the tree gets its common name from, black cherry. The droops are about one-third inch in diameter with a bittersweet taste. They typically ripen in late summer into September. Best seed production is between 30 and 100 years of age. Some seed is produced most years with good seed crops at one to five year intervals. The bulk of the seed crop fall to the ground within the vicinity of the parent tree. However, some seed is scattered by songbirds and mammals such as fox and bear. Black cherry fruits are an important source of soft mast for many non-game songbirds such as the brown thrasher, the cedar waxwing, and the eastern bluebird, some of my favorite birds. Black cherries are also an important food source for several game birds including the ruffed grouse, wild turkey, and northern bobwhite. Fox, raccoons, squirrels, and rabbits also eat the fruit, and the cherries have been described as a favorite of black bears. The bark is smooth with numerous short, narrow, horizontal lenticels when the tree is young. It becomes very dark, nearly black, breaking into small, rough, irregular upturned plates when it gets older. Some have described it as looking like burnt cornflakes. The most important defoliating insects that attack black cherry include eastern tent caterpillar, which is a pest that is native to North America. Their populations vary from year to year, with outbreaks occurring every several years. The caterpillars hatch from shiny egg masses that contain between 150 to 400 eggs that have been deposited on the black cherry tree, as well as apples and crab apples, the prior fall. Once they hatch in early spring, the caterpillars from one or more egg mass will build silken nests in the host tree. They emerge from the nest in early morning or late evening and even feed and even overnight to feed on the leaves in late spring and early summer. Large groups can defoliate entire trees, but the trees typically recover and put out a new growth of leaves. Black knot is a common but serious native disease of cherries and wild plums. The disease is caused by the fungus Apiosporina morbosa. It causes elongated rough black swelling several times the diameter of the normal stem. Small twigs may be killed within a year after the infection. Large canker swellings a foot or more in length may occur on the trunks of larger trees, and where several such lesions are scattered along the bulb, the tree is worthless for lumber. Pruning the affected areas with proper sanitation of the removed area is the primary means for dealing with black knot. The wood, especially from large, high-quality trees, is highly valued and used for furniture and veneer. These trees are typically found in a small range in the Allegheny Plateau of Pennsylvania, New York, and West Virginia. The heartwood is pinkish-brown when first cut and darkens to medium-red-brown when exposed to light. The sapwood tends to be a pale yellowish color. The grain is usually straight and easy to work. It is known as being one of the best all-around woods for workability. The wood is commonly used for cabinetry, furniture, flooring, turned objects, and small specialty wood items. 
The national champion black cherry is in Licking, Ohio. It's 196 inches in circumference, which is over 16 feet. It's 111 feet tall with a 79 foot crown spread. Kentucky's champion black cherry is in Hardin County. It's 202 inches in circumference, 89 feet tall with a 70 foot crown spread. If you'd like to know more about champion trees, check out American Forest Champion Tree National Register or the Kentucky Division of Forestry Champion Trees. Now for a few fun facts about black cherry. The twigs, leaves, and bark of the black cherry contain cyanide in a bound form as a cyanogenic glycoside. When the foliage wilts, the cyanide is released and can be potentially lethal to livestock. Deer and rabbit also eat the foliage, but not when it's wilted so they are not harmed. Black cherry grows the largest of all cherries in North America. Pioneers in the Appalachian Mountain used the fruit to flavor rums or brandy to make a drink called Cherry Bounce. The fruit was also used to make jams and jellies. The scientific name Pruna Seratina is from the Greek prunos, which means plum or cherry, while Seratina is from the Latin cirrus, which means late, and refers to the late ripening fruit. I hope you've enjoyed the black cherry today and get the opportunity to get out into your neighborhood, a local park, or your woodland and enjoy the beauty of the black cherry.